What is this madness? What madness, you may ask? The type of madness that you know you love high school because there's a school dance called Homecoming and you're super excited for it. So Homecoming is the second dance in my high school because like I had the Welcome Back dance two to three weeks ago, I can't remember. And Homecoming is the second dance of the school year. It's formal. So therefore, you wear a cute dress with a cute date and you get a picture and you just party. That's basically what that is. I'm just saying. So I'm super excited for it. And there's several reasons to back that up. So I'm really excited to go to homecoming this year because I was asked in a really cute way. Like, I've never been asked to a dance or anything like that in that matter in such a cute way possible. So since I'm the volleyball manager, I was returning from high school and uh, we were, were driving in the bus and we were chanting, you know, like, um, my high school, you know, mascot because we we're like all excited that we won our victory of the game. And as we pull up into the driveway, we pull up next to the mini gym at our high school. There's a gym and there's a mini gym. So we pull up next to both of the gyms. And it was like 7.30 and it was really dark. And I see these white posters out of the window. And I was like, what is that? And everybody starts screaming, "Oh, that's so cute. What's going on right now? Everybody's like tapping me on the shoulder like, dude, that's so cute. That's so cute. And I look even more and it says, posters, Nadine plus Michael equals homecoming question mark. It's like... What? That's me, right? That's me? And then I was like, holy crap! <laughs> and uh, I just couldn't stop grinning because I was like, oh my god, I'm like one of those girls who actually got asked in a cute way. That's amazing. And when the bus stopped, you know, I stormed out of the bus because I was kind of like one of the last people on the bus. So once I got out of the bus, everybody moved. There was like a couple people, like maybe five or six holding the posters, but there's a bunch of people holding the posters. And I guess they were standing out there for 20 minutes waiting till we got there. And they're just like, where is Nadine, you know? And like, they were waiting for my reaction. So once I got out of the bus, I was like, and then he's like, so what do you say? And I was like, yes, yes. And then I hugged him and then he like twirled me and it was really, really cool. So here's the picture of how it like kind of looked like from my point of view from the window. So here's one. And then here's the picture of like how it looked like. It's kind of dark and I had to take it off my cell phone. So it's kind of hard to get and it was at an angle. So here's the other one. Yeah, so basically that's what it is. And I actually kept the posters They're right here. Yeah, there's like multiple posters and it was just like really, really cool. I kept them because, uh, I'm weird. I don't know. I just knew that I'm never going to get asked like that again, so. So that's how I got asked to homecoming. I know it's kind of like weird and corny and girly, but whatever. I don't care. The other part about it is that at lunchtime on Friday, they were revealing the theme of the homecoming dance. And it's called, cause it's Casino Royale. And I'm thinking to myself, how the hell do I dress for that? I don't know. It has to be formal too. Like, come on, dude. It's kind of hard to be like an agent. I don't know. Somebody help me out with that. I got nominated for Homecoming Princess. I got freaking nominated, dude. It's like, I was I was at lunch, you know, sitting on the bleachers, and then they were like, sophomore girls to get nominated. And they had like this red envelope that said sophomore girls, and they pulled out the paper, and they just kind of like let it open, and my friends were like, oh my god, Nadine, you're there, you're there. I was like, what? <gasps> you don't understand. I was like jumping up. I was like, yes. How excited I was like you don't understand the only reason why I really wanted to be homecoming princess like or just like get nominated at least because I don't know I kind of feel accomplished or something even though it's nothing to be accomplished about I mean everybody's always like yeah it's just the popular people they get nominated but really like I don't know everybody but I know like a lot of people I gotta admit but I mean I just I never really win anything so just the fact that I got nominated it like really meant a lot to me and I really hope that people vote for me not just not just to vote, you know, just to know like what kind of person I am. So I really hope people vote for me. So I know some people from my high school watch my videos. So if you're watching, you know, at lunchtime on October 7th, you know, vote for me, please. Okay, I'm just saying. Yeah, I got nominated for Homecoming Princess and I feel like really proud of it. And once you get nominated, they gave you like a yellow or red balloon. So when you walk around campus, people know you're one of the nominees. Yeah, I went to the football game and I was walking with my balloon. It felt really stupid, but I don't care. And my friend Chelsea bumped into the, like, I don't know, she kept walking as my balloon got caught on the fence and like ripped through it, I guess. I don't know what happened actually. My balloon, um, like detached from the string and flew away. I was like this. My balloon, my homecoming balloon. So if you guys go to my school, you know, vote for me because I really want to win it for some reason. I'm just that lame, but I really want to feel accomplished or something. So thank you guys. See you later.